Welcome to the next episode of Revolutionary Talk. We're on to episode two of Wellness Truths Exposed. Carbs and fats are bad for you. <laughs> right? Oh, gosh. I think, uh, you know, maybe somebody should just go eat a whole bunch of protein. What do you think? <laughs> Tell me how you feel after you eat protein for three days in a row and just drink water. Mm. I'm thinking like low fat, non fat, like that's just a chemical shitstorm. You yeah, might have to believe that, but <laughs> I, don't have to believe it. I think I think it hits it right on the head. Honestly, though, literally. Yeah, I mean, personally, I think like balance with diet is key. If you because I don't if I don't eat enough carbs, then I go to the gym the next day and I don't go to the gym the next day because I'm so gassed. But if I don't have enough protein, I don't build muscle, and if I don't have enough fat. Then if I can't eat for a period of time, I have no reserve. So right, you know, it's like whenever I eat, I'm like instead of like greens and this and that, I'm like protein, fat, carbs, simple. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and fats like there's good fat and there's bad fat. Sure. Um, avocado, I love avocado. Mm -hmm. Avocado yep. is a healthy fat. Yeah. <laughs> so it's coconut oil. So what, what's a bad fat though? I think you're onto uh, something here. Saturated fats. Yes. Yeah. So like. Mm. Yeah, trans fats. I mean, trans, trans fats are fats the really for better sure ones. Too, and um, oh, oh, shit, I just lost. Well, I'll come back to you. What about <laughs> carbs? Are there good carbs and bad carbs? <laughs> carbs, yes. Yeah, so we want like whole grain carbs, mm -hmm. things that are not um, enriched. For example, like there's a lot of processed foods, especially yeah. in the uh, the wheat department, that tends to be very mm. enriched. Or like white bread is enriched. Yeah. Yeah. So what are some good examples of, say, like complex carbs or like the longer lasting carbs? So einkorn, the original 14 chromosome wheat compared to our 64 chromosome wheat that we have now, um, would be a great example of a complex carb. Uh, quinoa, another ancient grain. Um, what about my favorite potatoes? Oh, potatoes. Sweet potatoes, However, yellow potatoes. Yes. I love potatoes. Yes. <laughs> Organic ones. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. And then... Um, Brown rice? Did you say that one yet? Oh yeah, brown rice, because mm. you were talking about rice oh. just a second ago. Yes, so brown rice, a little bit more. So then, um, what are what are some like really easy examples of like, simple carbs? Like white flour? Yeah, I would say like sugar. Um, mm -hmm. Like cookies? So, so if you see a box of candy that has what, like 50 grams of carbs <laughs> in it, you're like, yeah! And then you're like, oh crap, it's all simple, so it burns instantly, right? Yep. Oh yeah. And then it makes your blood it's sugar like go food. like... Crazy spots that it's you like don't that. Want to be. It's like the idea that Oreos are vegan and healthy somehow. I, I mean, I think when I ate vegan, they were they were right. No, I don't know. <laughs> are they vegan? Is that a, supposedly is that a bit? they are? But I'm like, look at those ingredients, man. I don't know if I would be calling myself healthy if I've been eating all. This. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go look at an Oreo thing. I think I actually looked at the ingredients one day and was like, ah, I think I think I was at the grocery store with Grace. And I was like, look, these are vegan. <laughs> and then she's like, those are all poisons. And I was like, okay. Yeah. True, true. But cool. Be smart. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, so it's funny though, and I, um, I mean, the simplest way that I understand this probably help people out there. So you think fats are bad for you, but like we mentioned earlier, if you don't eat any fats, you don't have those reserves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you just think of it this way, if your body knows you're getting healthy fats coming in on a regular basis, it doesn't need to store as much on your body because yeah. it knows it's coming right. through and it can expect it. Right. Yeah. But people don't think of it like that. No, and we kind of forget how impactful or how beneficial healthy fats are for our body mm -hmm. too because it does help with supporting our hair growth and nail growth. Mm -hmm. um, people who cut out fats all together or you know switch over to not, uh, products that have non-fat or fat free written on them um, those products tend to have a lot of chemical substitutes mm -hmm. and those are actually depleting the body of the, like you're saying the, the things the essential like good fats that it's needing to rebuild and help it maintain itself definitely yeah it's I don't know that that's the easiest way that I feel like we'll get through to people people watching but yeah if I'm not eating any fats I feel like my memory's worse my oh yeah your brain runs my off brain's of like like it yes. cloudy yeah. and you know there's so yeah. many benefits to so the thing, if, you're, if you don't have carbs your brain just it's crashes. energy yeah yeah I mean we then, our bodies need energy yeah. to burn yeah and it all works one hand in hand 
best part of it. Yeah. So it's like a tripod. Carbs, fats, proteins. If you don't have one leg, yeah. your tripod falls over and this podcast doesn't exist. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, so I mean, um, almonds are, are one way I get good oh, fats. Yes. And I mean, that has good so, fats, carbs, and proteins almonds, in it. So that's yeah. a well-balanced snack. Do you have any other ideas for people that need a good snack, but something healthy? I tend to go for the sleek bars that Young Living has. Um, those bars have a lot of the seeds and the almonds. Like, oh, yeah, the combination of it's really good. Um, and they're whole foods. Like, yeah. they're not. Yeah. Eat the ingredients, not the thing with ingredients yes, in them. Yeah. Exactly. That's my big rule now. Yeah. Eat the ingredients. And acai. Acai yeah. has some, some acai good fats in it too. Yeah. Acai is like a good little blend. Yeah. Uh, coconut oil, switching mm -hmm. from cooking with. Oh shit, what are you. I forget what. Instead of cooking with conventional vegetable oil, switching to healthier cooking oils like coconut oil mm -hmm. or. Um, Organic mm, butter, even. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Or ghee. Yeah, ghee. <laughs> yeah. And uh, like grape seed, depending on the, 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 what do you call it, the burn temperature, the flash point. Mm. I don't know yeah. about that. Yeah. I, just, I just do some olive oil. Too much <laughs> I, keep, I keep it pretty oh, yeah. simple. Olive oil. Olive oil is That's great. my Extra favorite. virgin olive oil, yeah. yes, for sure, is another great one too. I call it Virgin Mary olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> All right, what's the next question? Uh, any final uh, tips for people uh, that just might have a misconception of, of fats or carbs or any final takeaways? I mean, really, when it comes down to the label, in my opinion, if you're trying to decide whether or not to eat something based on what the label says between fats and carbs, it, I always go to the ingredients list first. Yeah and uh, personally skip over the whole nutrient fact part of it mm. because I ultimately want to know what I am eating and the ingredients, like mm -hmm. you were saying. But we also have to keep in mind that companies don't have to label all of mm. the ingredients in their products. Yeah. And that's where companies like Coca-Cola <laughs> take advantage of that, where they create their proprietary recipes yeah. and yep. don't have to tell you exactly what you're drinking. That's a big one. Proprietary blends, yeah. Stay away from those. So. Yeah. Good tip. Look at the ingredients. Don't just focus on those macros. There's a lot more to it than that. Uh, next week, we'll be talking about mental and physical health. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching.